Hey, what's up, everybody? Wee Man here with my buddy Poncho Muller. What's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Little Revolution. Today, we have a very special guest. Uh, he's a skateboarder, soon to be professional. He grew up uh, pretty much starstruck by the team he's on, and he's now one of the Bones Brigade. Woo! Let's give it up for this charming man, Chris Height. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, man. What's Thank up, you. Chris Height? Thank you. First of all, I just want to say that this is an honor to be a part of this. It really is. Oh, oh man. It's an honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we're, we're trying to do something we should have done a long time ago, yeah. but now yeah. we're finally doing it. Yeah, it's sick. Uh, yeah. But uh, we're super excited to have you here. I've been a big fan ever since you've uh, come out into the skateboard community and just have been ripping. That's Always excited so, to have a skateboarder too. Yeah. Like that's like our world. That's like what we come from. Yeah. So just to have it, it uh, just to have someone that rides the board and is like coming up is yeah. awesome. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to be here. I mean, you guys are I've watched you since I was a kid. It's like insane, you know? It's you look like, so was, young. How, how old are you? I am 22 years old. 22 yeah. and wow. And how long have you been skating for? Um, about 11, 11 years. Almost 11 12 years. Now. About Start, coming up on 12. So you started skating at 11 years old. 10. Yes. 10, 10 years old. Okay. Yeah, it's only around that time. Yeah. That's a good age. And where'd you start skating? Um, I actually went to like a little local park called Killer in the town I grew up in. What in town Indiana. is that? Evansville, Indiana. Evansville, yeah. and the skate park was called Killer. It's called Killer Killer skate, Killer skate Park and Shop. Was yeah. it a wooden park or a cement yeah, park? Yeah, it was. Okay. It was inside. So we had one outdoor park, and it was like this really bad metal prefab kind of park that was falling apart. I mean, to the point where there was a whole bunch of ramps there, and people would just unscrew them and take them in their mm. trucks, and just like <laughs> so, it ended up being coming like where it wasn't skatable really, and so um, one flat bar, one bank. <laughs> yeah, it was. It ended up becoming crazy, and the bank had like you know the metal to get up it, uh, and it yeah. was gone. So oh. you had to all. <laughs> it was the whole thing was crazy. So it, it, it would get cold and stuff. So it was an indoor uh, skate park made out of like masonite at first, and then transitioned into skate light and. So it's really fun. Is that what you skated during the winter? Because I mean, you guys have some pretty brutal winters. Yeah, out there, right? yeah. It would, it would. We'd have some pretty crazy seasons, and we'd have a lot of snow and blizzards, and we even have tornadoes out there. So we would skate uh, in there, and it was just, it was always just like the best thing to what be would, around. What was the setup there like? So we would have. Um, there was two different versions because the first one. Uh, was there and then they moved buildings when I got into high school but it was always uh, a big mini big mini ramp with a six foot section and a four foot section and a spine and Ooh, the yeah. kind of yeah the spines are that's still my favorite thing to skate and yeah and it would set up from the mini ramp into like a little street area with like a step up right there on the mini ramp and then the other street area that was right here was like a five stair and a bank with a parking curb on it and then when they moved uh, locations, they re just redid that mini ramp with the spine, but flipped it. So it was reversed the way it was, which was really sick because now you could hit things from a different angle. Oh, true. Um, and, and made the street section. So everything flowed into each other. So you could do a, a line where you hit every single obstacle in the park without uh, ha even having to push. Yeah. So it was really nice. Just well, super flow. That's, yeah. That's yeah. one of the things I, I like when I was watching his Instagram videos and your skating is like, you could attack anything. Oh, thank you. Like you're yeah. skating transition, you're skating spines, like you're skating rails, you're skate manuals, like everything. That's that's pretty good. Oh, like, thank that's you. That's really good. Like back in, uh, we were talking about it with Greg Carroll. Like back when I skateboarded for Think, mm -hmm. that's what he wanted his team to mm -hmm. be like, not just ledge skaters or 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 vert skaters, but yeah. everything. They wanted oh, yeah. them to be able to attack yeah. anything at, at a skate park. No, that reminds me because, like, I mean, wasn't Cody McIntyre? Was yeah. On Think, like, he was one of those first people that I saw that was like, whoa, he just did the craziest mini ramp trick, and then is like, kickflip front crook down a twelve stair. What in the world? Yeah. Like, Cody McIntyre was even like after I skated for Think. Yeah. When I skated for Think, it was like you got to look up, or you probably know Wade Spayer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, watch him skate a spine ramp, and you'll be like, Man, oh I, my god. I follow uh, Vert Club on Instagram. Okay. And post Wade all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's just like watching him skate. It's like this guy made this so cool like he yeah. did it he did it the best you could do it i mean seriously it's so gnarly i miss that dude like 
Not miss him, lady. He's gone. But I miss him from. You miss cuddling yeah. with him? Uh, no, I cuddle with I him still to this day. <laughs> I was he's on Dogtown, right? Or, well, no, he was on Dogtown. Okay. Uh, he was on. I think he was on Dogtown before thing. Yeah, and then we. Then you guys took him. So he was with so me first. Oh, okay. Then you. Yeah, wait. But, but I you, know. were, you weren't with Dogtown back then. You were with Sonic. I was with Sonic when oh, he was wow. on Dogtown. That's and crazy. And then when Dogtown came back down south is when I got on. Okay. But. Uh, I've gone up to his house. He's a he's a full farmer, farmer, rancher, cowboy what? dude now. Dude, like that's he's like sick. you've got you like a bulldozer him, and shit. <laughs> if you saw him going down the street now, you would not know it was Wade. That's and so you're crazy. Like, and people see him, and we go out in town together, and I'm like, dude, this is Wade Spire. Like <laughs> this dude rips. Like you're pointing yeah. at this guy in the track. Yeah. He's like, you know, this guy can do four, <laughs> forty trick lines. Yeah, you know that? <laughs> yeah, this guy can kill any mini <laughs> ramp in any town. Um. When you first started skating and you were in, the, like, a lot of kids, especially when they have parks to go to, get really good really fast. Do you, did you realize or were people like, hey, you're going to get sponsored. You're going to be, you know, you're going to be one of those kids that's going to be ripping right away. Like, th was there that feel being, like, at Killers Park? Well, I mean, it was, it's weird to say it because it feels so, like, um, non-humble you know what i mean but, no, it, but there was definitely uh people would be like this kid is gonna be the next kid like at the at the local place it was yeah. never really like thinking like he's gonna go out and you know make it or anything but it was just like this kid's gonna be good he'll the get town on, the town he'll, kid yeah he'll get on the, the town the, hero <laughs> yeah lo local town like person like he'll yeah. get on the team and all this stuff but for me i mean even even <laughs> after i first got like on uh killer i i didn't even growing up to that point, I didn't think about getting sponsored. Like it going further or anything. I didn't even yeah. really know there was a world of yeah. that. I just was like, I just want to skateboard. Yeah. Yep. So when I got on, I was like, oh, this is, I get to go and skate in here for free now. Cool. And you I get stuff. a free day. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, this is cool. I'm, yeah. I'm happy with that. But I didn't even, like, I was on Killer and I was just like, oh, man, I could just stay here and skate for the rest of my life. I'd be happy. So, yeah. So the guy that, like, there was obviously a guy that ran the skate shop and the yeah. skate park. Was mm -hmm. he your buddy? Did yeah. he help you out? Did he, oh, he probably saw something in you. With He's, he, um, I originally went to uh, skate lessons with him because he would do skate lessons. And he taught me and my brother a lot of tricks. He taught us how to skate. Yeah. So it's really crazy uh, to grow up with him. His name is Glenn Davidson. And uh, he was just, he was always, he still is so good. I mean, he's older now and he still kills it. Was I mean, older. He's not that old. <laughs> wow. 40s. Um, he's in his yeah, 40s. Yeah, he's in his 40s. And, like and street yeah. skating and like like transition yeah. skating. So, like. so he skated it all and he built the park kind of to his preference mm. and to hope people would end up. And that's kind of what ties in. Like he always skated shaped skateboards. Always. Uh, he brought, he brought I was, me into that. I was going to ask, because I was going to say about 2010-ish to 2012, shapeboards were just coming. People were doing them. Mm. Wait, what shapeboards? Shapes. Like boards with shapes. Okay, okay, shapes. okay. No, yeah. I, I, I didn't know. Like, I stopped skating like in 2000. Four, like yeah. we still had like noses and tails, mm -hmm. and like it was the board that you popsicle stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. nowadays call them shaped boards, but are, yeah. I mean technically okay. Just so the okay, shaped boards. Yeah, yeah. That's shaped just what, that's that's cool. Back, yeah, I mean, no. I guess a popsicle at one point was a shaped board. Because at one time, yeah. And then <laughs> yeah. There's the eggs. Then there's mm -hmm. the footballs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are coming back. People love. They are. Eggs. Did they you are. ever skate the, the the popsicle board? I feel like when you started skating, that's what there was. I, I did. I did. Um, but it was like I skated it, but everyone at that local place had two different setups. It mm -hmm. was like you had your popsicle and you had your your fun like whatever you know vision yeah. deck and, and then stuff you, like that. You fell in love with that. Oh yeah. Style board. Yeah, I definitely fell in love with the the eighties uh, style, and that that more happened. When I got older, started to find out who I was as a person and, and started to love just the look and the feel of just 80s culture. And I think that that really brought a lot of uh, stimulation to my brain to be like, I want I love the way this stuff looks. I love the way this feels like watching those parts like you were saying, Hocus Pocus and and Future Primitive and just watching that stuff. I was like, I want to be there. I want to do that. Like, it's Future Primitive. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's like jump ramps, dude. Yeah. You ever skate oh, jump ramps? My whole life. Yeah. Really? My whole life. That's I, so dumb, I didn't, uh, I, I had a, a one thing in my like driveway and it was just, it was just a steep jump ramp. I wanted a, a three foot to three and a half foot tall launch ramp that was steep enough to where you could just 
indie grab or like melon grab or early grab and just fly. That's Did you ever like doing. put it up against walls to do oh, wall rides and stuff? Dude, I love it. What's crazy is that you loved that era of skating during that time mm -hmm. where I barely kickflips were even around, yeah. you know, but to bring it to nowadays times and do the tricks you're doing <laughs> nowadays is like, it's melting them both together, you oh, know? Thank you. It's so, it's, it's, so fun. Yeah. You would think it would be more like oil and water of each other, but the way you skate and what you do with those boards is like, they could have been doing that back in the day too. Yeah. So no, for sure. It's, it, it's just, how the environment is, I guess, you know? Yeah. So how do, how do nollies work with those boards? <laughs> Good question. So, so really? yeah. No, that, yeah, no I mean, the nose is that big. It seems like, are you hitting your nose? So when I do certain uh, nollie tricks, like nollie big spins and stuff like that, most people don't hit their nose. Okay. Yeah. Say, especially like with my favorite nollie trick, which is a nollie tray flip. Hitting yeah. your nose is kind of like that's you have to like try to hit your nose on that trick. Yeah. It kind of goes without hitting your nose. So when I'm doing nollies, uh, up stuff and off stuff, um, it it actually works just because of leverage. But sometimes I flip it around depending on how high I want to get up because I like hearing the the noise of it hitting the ground. And so certain nollie tricks it doesn't give that satisfying noise. But other than that, it, it skates nollie completely what, fine. What, what about like a nollie flip? That works. That works. works. You hit your nose all the way. You, you you don't even have to really hit your nose for a nollie flip. It can kind of leverage up and uh, so cool. And man. It's, it works. So it's pretty fun. It's yeah. really fun. If you think about it, right where because the nose used to be longer, that's when it would hit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now when they get it at the right angle, it's already your body's in motion to like drag. But see, I flip. feel like him being taller. A board like that with the nollie, you have the longer legs and the leverage for it to like go. Up. Like I don't think I could nollie on a board like that. You might be able. To. Maybe, I think you could. maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you could. There are certain tricks for for at least for me that were I I, I feel like were a little harder than for other people. Yeah. No, there definitely was. It was different. Yeah. Like with 360 flips, I, I, I had to get oh, a yeah. smaller board to be able I, to yeah, do it. Yeah, I get that. Like that it would get tangled in my legs. <laughs> that one. <laughs> <laughs> that, then it, and then I, when I got a smaller board, I'm like, it's so much easier. But then yes. with that smaller board, mm -hmm. I didn't feel so much in control when I was skating bigger things because yeah. you're like on a popsicle stick. Yeah, exactly. Instead of like being exactly. on a bigger board where that's you have more control. Skating, that's skating everything anyway. Yeah. yeah that's you know why. what I mean? You can't take a freestyle board. Yeah. And skate a pool. Yeah. No, you you know, yeah. Feel, no, yeah. Even you know what I mean. No, even Tony Hawk was saying when he skates a bigger, bigger <laughs> ramps, he has to have a bigger yeah, board. Yeah, exactly. Wider and yeah. uh, the, the wheelbase is everything. Yes. Wheelbase, the, t the wheelbase makes your your board flip faster or slower depending on how wide it is. Yep. So a normal wheelbase, like a modern wheelbase that all popsicles are modeled after, is fourteen. And fourteen and quarter, maybe. Fourteen, sometimes yeah. fourteen quarter. But yep. if you're skating pools, you want a 15. Yeah, which is like do you do you fuck people. around with vert? I'm I'm not as good at actual vert ramps. I like pools, okay. and I like wow. and I like really steep, like you know, like a six foot thing or like a four foot thing, like Jersey Bear is just super steep vert. I was yes. gonna say that. Those I, are my favorite things. I love skating that so much. The first time I saw you skating, like in person, was at the park. In Pasadena, I want to say it is, or where it's not a park. There is, there's a prefab mini ramp park. Yeah. And then there's the street area, the DIY we spot. We were at the DIY. Yeah, and you guys were all there. We were all at the DIY, and he was doing. It's a, it's just a straight brick wall that some people just DIY a quarter pipe to, but it went straight to vert. On the old school board, he's blunt to kick flip fakey out. Dude, yeah. On that, and My I was like. Holy crap. Dude, <laughs> my you. favorite clip of this dude is um, you were skating a jersey barrier and you go up and you do a blunt to heel flip out mm. and then you, you land it perfectly. It's beautiful. And then you come back and then you push back towards it and he does a blunt kick flip out like perfectly. Yeah. Like I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> like he was on a mini ramp and he had both transitions. <laughs> there was a spot uh, back probably like in the uh, before like early 2000s, maybe before, in San Francisco that they called the Jersey Barrier. They mm -hmm. made it, and Brian Anderson had the cover 
of a Thrasher magazine doing like a backside nose one on it. Oh yeah. And I'm like thinking, dude, if this guy skated back then, he would. Oh, he would have done it. Destroyed it. <laughs> destroyed it. Backside nose blunt nollie flip. Out. Oh god. Can oh, you do man. that? Can you... I I mean, not as good as like Cookie Dough. <laughs> cookie Dough got that just trick the down. Fact that oh, he does. He's got that that's trick really down. Dope. Who's Cookie? Uh, Cookie Chris dude. Colburn. I think that's how I say his last name. I've heard name. of him. He does. He can do. Is the he back. on Pell? No, he's on, uh, oh man, what is he? Is he on Warble still? I think uh, he is. Okay. But, but he right. can do backside nose picks to nolly uh, frontside flip out, like oh, fully spinning. Nice. He's so good at that trick. That's it's crazy. He's trick. good at everything, though. But. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the latest footage I've seen of you ripping was Cab's Ramp. Oh, that, that was such <laughs> a that fun Is that in San Jose? Or, no, he lives out here. Now. Carlsbad. Okay. Carlsbad. Yeah, the bamboo ramp. Or, uh, yeah, the, the drag. Pa the panda ramp? Panda ramp. Panda ramp. Have you wow. skated there? No. Dude, never. you would love it. it I love that so size. Fun. It's like five or it's six. Like five. Feet. It's yeah. about five feet. And, and it's, it's just, perfect transition. Man, it's so good. He's making it wider. He is? So it's even uh, longer. Dude, it was, that was honestly a surreal day. For me, because it's like it's Steve Caballero, you know. Yeah, it's like, and his ramp. You're at his ramp, and he's skating with us, and it's like this is his dog's there. Yeah, his dog's awesome. And we're just like this is like I, I couldn't imagine that my whole life. If you told me as a kid like you're gonna be at Steve Caballero's mini ramp at his house skating with him, like I'd be like you're a liar. You're a, you're lying. You're right a bone right brigade guy though. It's, you're you know what I mean, dude. It's bone crazy. brigade, you gotta skate the ramp. I, it was an amazing ramp. It was really fun. Clears the clears the deck. Comes out, front side Ollie clears the deck, Smith stalls, front side or kick flips from Smith stall, does it one time to disaster, does it another time to tail. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, you could see on Cab's face too. He's like, all right, didn't think that was possible. That was surreal, yeah, too. yeah, just, just <laughs> Cab's, I mean, you know, you know, you're skating and, and Steve Caballero's filming you. You're like, dude, what are we? I'm like, I'm like, yes. wow. Yeah. Why is Steve still on Powell? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Steve's He's still skating. Powell still got a van shoe out. Still, He's getting it. Yeah. He skates hard. He's smart. Yeah. Skates hard. Yep. Yeah. One of the last dudes out of all of them, they all left and started their own companies. Mm -hmm. He was the only one that stayed with Powell the whole time. Yeah, Dude, I used to so skate sick. with Steve uh, in San Jose. Okay, that's where he's from, and I used to skate the Milpita skate park with him all mm. the time, and a few other parks. But yeah, how about the brick banks, the San Jose bricks? Yeah, the brick banks too. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. those were fun. So you were in Indiana, skating for Killer, ripping, starting to get. What brought you out to California? Obviously skateboarding, of course. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's weird. My, my whole life, I wanted to live out here. I yeah. mean, we would write in school. Um, they would do, every year we'd have to write like an essay, and we'd get to choose whatever we wanted to write our essay about. And most of the time, it was like, write about a dream. And this was like a graded <laughs> thing. Yeah. And I swear, for I've made teachers must have been so over it. But yeah. for five years straight, like throughout all of elementary, and then even like in middle school, we did it a couple times. But I would just write, my dream is going out to California. This is why. And like, I, and it was every year. It was Skate never this gained. spot. Skating this. this I, would, yeah. I would used to write about skating Skate Lab. I would okay. like, I want to skate Skate Lab. And yeah. obviously, by the time I got out here, it was gone, unfortunately. Yeah. But uh, I would write that we every single skate year. We skated Skate Lab. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. We, yeah, that it place so was fun. The first setup they had was amazing. They had a four-foot mini ramp. It was probably about the size like Cavs with four foot. I used to blast fake Yali's like four feet oh, high so out sick. of it. Like that's it was so insane. Bad. Like that was one of my favorite mini ramps ever was the skate lab mini ramp. If I could like literally only skate one thing for the rest of my life, it'd just be a mini ramp. Mini ramps like, are oh, fine. Just, just skate a mini ramp forever. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Yep. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. It's, they're, they're the best. Who, who are your sponsors? Um, I have, uh, I'm on, I'm on Powell Peralta, Fallen Footwear. Uh, Bones Love Milk, Bones Bearings. What's, What's Bones, Bones Love, Love Milk? You ever heard of, you guys know Got Milk ads. Like okay, milk. yeah. It's, it's pretty much a branch of that. The so X Games of, it's, of Got Milk. <laughs> it's the skating portion <laughs> yeah. of Got Milk. So it's just milk. I mean, like, yeah. we promote milk and stuff. And, awesome. Um, uh, sock brand, it's called Stinky Socks. There you go. Uh, arcade Belts. And I feel like I'm forgetting one. I'm sorry if I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> but maybe I'm not. I don't know. But Damn, it's everything. You're yeah. I'm just, I'm from lucky. The, from the feet up. Yeah. You're just Trucks. Sponsored. Uh, actually, Mike has been sending me some slappies. Slappy They're trucks. They're good. 
They're really is that what good you're trucks. Right That's now? what I'm riding right now. They're Snappy really good truck. trucks. Mike Sinclair started. Okay. A new I love brand. Mike Sinclair. Dude, Mike's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yep. Mike's so cool. And they're really good trucks. Like I was, because trucks have always been a problem for me. Like I'm like, oh, the trucks will be really good for like a first month and they'll I'm like, this, I, I was, can't skate. I would see you as an indie guy. No, I did. I skated indie okay. for a while, um, and then and then I would start. I was like, I want to try the slappy trucks because I like higher trucks, and okay. they, you know, they were like they're high trucks. I like high profile trucks, and uh, I used to have to have like so many riser pads, and then now I don't have to have them because the slappies are so high. So I bought uh, two pairs of them throughout a couple months, and then I made a little video and uh, talking about my setup, and Mike so uh, I- somehow saw it. And he let he sent me pairs of trucks, and I was like, "These are so good." So I'm I'm I don't know. I'm just like having such a good time on them. Red. That's awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> what size wheels do you ride? I am. Well, on speaking 50. of, just show us your setup oh, yeah. right now. Let me try not to hit the mic. Yeah. We got um 54 okay. millimeter. Okay. These pretty are the, average. These are the X formula. Usually I ride uh, dragon wheels, and the X formula is kind of a, a form of dragon wheels. So these have been really fun. Um, 54 millimeter, 53. If I'm doing mainly just flat ground stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, but I feel like for me, 54 is a good in between because the lock-in is really important to me. Like if I'm flipping into a grind, I won't yeah. have to worry about it slipping out. Yep. So that's really nice. Um, I never flipped into a grind. No. Oh. I don't know if I, I've never Actually, flipped. I did. I did flip into a kickflip 50-50s. Ah. But uh, kickflip frontside 5-0s too. Oh, that's a I'm that's trying a good to think one. if that's I kick flipped into a ground. I, I, you didn't. Board slide. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm going to pull a video out. <laughs> I actually, back <laughs> when pull I was a on. Pull video out. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's see the video. Uh, Someone we'll pull it up. Someone will pull it up. Definitely not, it. not dangling my board on a nose slide. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 no, I, I like did. the rails, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. These are uh, little John rails. They're pretty go. good. The guy's yeah. awesome. He's from Texas. Little Johns are good. Those They're good are, rails. The rails I use if I use rails. Yeah. I have two setups right now where I have a uh, curb setup, which mm. I have rails on, mm-hmm. and then I have like mini ramp street setup, which what, is no rails. Wh- what's about, what's what's the specs on those two? The deck size is the same. It's an eight, it's an eight by like 31 and a half to 31 three quarters. Okay. And then with a 14 inch wheelbase, they're both the same. Uh, on the no rail board, I ride 51s, uh-huh. and both have indies. And on the rail board, I ride 53s. Mm. Okay. So. And you see that the the 51s will kind of help lock into things easier, you'd say? No, or? I like flipping it easier. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So with my rail board, I can lock in easier. Yeah. And don't have to like worry about. I'm not going and flipping that board. Yeah, because you'll, so. you'll. I've seen you skating some curbs down in. Uh, I'm not going to say the area. So yeah, <laughs> but I've seen you skating those yep. curbs. And I'm like, those are some fun curbs. They're like, always fun. Those yeah. Are good ones. Uh, but yeah, but no. So I notice on your board it says experimental. Yes. And usually when does. someone has an experimental board, that means there's a future of something. I mean, I, it would be amazing. You know. It would, yeah. It would be. It would be incredible. What's the talk with George? Um, so first of all, George is a fantastic person. Yep. Him, his family is, his, his son is, uh, they're all great people. Are you guys talk about George Powell? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. George Powell. Yeah. And, and he is, <laughs> he is such a delight to talk to. I mean, just, just standing there talking to him is, is like a trip because he's so smart and he try he wants to understand everything. So he'll ask like, what exactly did this feel during this exact trick? Does this flip? Like he wants to know everything. Yeah. Which is like. Dude, I love talking about that. I'd love to like, and and so I talked to George about um, uh, the boards and how I kind of had some ideas uh, on the old school decks to maybe help them, uh, like kids, be able to skate them a little better and, yeah. and you know makes it makes it like a different environment and like thinking about new shapes that people can kind of ride and, and have the feel of the '80s but not you know have to necessarily uh, give up their certain tricks because i know it's not as easy for for everyone to just pick up a board and and you know not be able to do tricks that they like to do uh writing so an 80s board with 80s concave exactly like yeah so. carlos ribeiro who's like <laughs> badass skateboarder is not gonna get on that board and do a switch heel flip switch backside 5-0 grind down like a, a hubba easily maybe he maybe once he gets used to it but it seems a little harder i mean you know that's kind of the goal for yeah. um this that's one. really cool that you're yeah. looking at it that we've way we've been working on is to make a board 
to where you don't have to think it'll make a difference. Mm. It's yeah. like it looks the way I want it to look. It feels good and I can do the same tricks without having to give up anything. Yep. Um, and so I, I worked with uh, George and then these two people that are, are amazing people that work in the board cutting and, and the concaves for Powell. That's uh, Justin and Andy, not Andy Anderson, but another Andy. <laughs> uh, and I did actually talk to Andy a lot about this. Yeah. I, I've, I will I've talked to Andy for hours about like, what about this? What about this? Like, cause Andy's super particular. He's like every mm -hmm. millimeter of the board. Exactly. And makes and, something different. Yeah. And yeah. so I, I, you know, I, I've talked to him for, I mean, hours on end about like, oh, but what about this? And he's like, that could be like interesting. Like maybe try that out. And, and uh, it's just been such a fun process. And I couldn't have done it with, like I couldn't even have this as far as it is without those people. So even if, you know, nothing comes out of it and this is just once, once in a lifetime opportunity just to skate this, I would be so happy with it. Just the opportunity. Because you did it. it. You know, you know what like, I mean? That's, you, you yeah, were, you're a part of it. You made this yeah. so that every kid that's out there writing it will know Chris did this. He has some, so this is what Chris does on it. I'm going to try this. Yeah. I mean, I just, I just want people to feel like they, they have a place to, to be themselves and to skate the way they want without feeling dis, you know, disencouraged and stuff. And it's just like nice to, to be able to try to make something for those kind of people. Like yeah. how I've always felt. You That's know? really cool, man. Yep. Yeah. So it's been really fun. When you first came out here, were you already sponsored by Powell? Yeah, so that's that's um that's actually the only reason I got out here was because of uh, DeVille. Who's uh, DeVille? DeVille team manager. is the team, team manager, manager for Powell. For Powell. Okay. He's been the team manager for a really long time. He saw you out there? Yeah. Um, I think I was I was 13 and I was about to turn 14 and like, maybe three days or something and Powell Peralta came for their very first Let's Go Skate Tour, uh, which was a really cool thing back then because usually demos came and it's like you all sat and you watched them skate. But with Powell, it was like, we're gonna skate with you. We're just having a session. At your local spot. At your local skate park. And so oh, they yeah. came to Killer um, and we, we skated and I just skated with them. And Who they, came out with that time? Oh man, you have it was, to remember. It was a, yeah, oh, I remember. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was Charlie Blair. Okay. Deville, obviously, Makaya, who still uh, is is in Powell and is an amazing person. Uh, we had Roman Pabich. Uh -huh. He was on. He was really little. He was like he came and he was in full pads and it's like completely oh, different wow. person, you know. Uh, we had Mighty. He was kind of a Venice local here. Um, Brendan and then RX Lance from Vegas. And it was like a really cool team. They were all killing it. I mean, especially Charlie. Charlie Are all Harris those guys pros? Um, so Charlie turned pro. And then uh, the others kind of, the team started to switch up because uh, some, just like a change in the company and stuff like that. So a lot of people went to the other sponsors and stuff. And uh, Roman ended up going pro for, what was it? Did he, I mean, I know he's on uh, UMA now. So he's mm -hmm. pro for UMA. And then some of the other people, I don't really know what happened to them. It happens. It's skateboarding. You know? Not everybody lasts. Yeah, people and, go and, through phases. And they're all still amazing at skateboarding. Yeah. Whether they made it or not, they I mean, in my eyes, they made it because they yeah. were there. They so when, when that tour came out, like uh, uh, all the Powell dudes that came out, they were all amateurs still. Yeah, except for Charlie. Or Yeah, actually, no, they were. Charlie wasn't even okay. pro at that point. Yeah, he was, he was not pro. I remember being on things, skateboards, and doing like tours where it was all the ams. Mm -hmm. Like they wanted to put us in the spotlight, you know? Yeah, it, yeah. It was really cool. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. And, and um, they, yeah, they were all ams at the time. And uh, I got on Shopflow, which is like, you know, you guys know what Shopflow yep. is. Yep. You got like a free board a month. They a free yeah. and, you, and they you, send it to Killer yeah, for you. And the like, only way to get it is to sell the boards for Killer. You know what I mean? It's a really <laughs> cool thing and it's yeah. a cool opportunity because it's like shipping costs a lot of money, especially yeah. to Indiana. Yeah. From, you know, and that's so I'd get like one board every time Pal uh, Killer would reorder a Pal shipment. So I'd just yep. be there like, hey guys, buy these boards, you know? Yeah. Like, so hopefully they'd be able to reorder worked, it. And it worked. And I, and I, I was on Shopflow. Um, until I was 18 years old. So yeah. from about 13 and almost like almost 14, pretty much to 18, I was on shop flow. Uh, and obviously my parents were worried about, you know, if it was going to work, um, if it was real, like if it was if real, it's, yeah. you know, cause it's like, you're just, you know, I'd been in like the local magazine, like on a local, like billboard thing in the mall, but that's local stuff. You know, you yeah. never actually know. And, uh, they, they thought, okay, like 
we'll see. Um, but you know, looking for colleges, you know, and I got into <laughs> I got into a college. Um, Did you go to college? So the funny story about that is right before uh, I I decided to go out for a week in California, we I had gotten into a uh, University of Evansville, which okay. is like the local college near me. And I went there for orientation day and I already didn't want to be there. I you were like, already did not. I was you like, I, already, I want yep. to do this. You know, I want to skateboard. That's you all I want to do. You were just doing it for your parents. And I was doing it for my parents. <laughs> and, and, you know, obviously it makes sense. You know, they just want the best for me. They want, yep. you know, it's a safe future. And it's like, this is just a million skateboarders, a million. And, and so I went to the college with my mother and we were there and, uh, they split us off like the parents went to a room and then we were split off into separate individual rooms to kind of talk to different professors and and we were we were sitting around a table and i think it was like 30 kids and everyone was kind of going around saying like what they wanted to go to college for and i was sitting there and, it, and i i they hadn't gotten to me yet and i was just like i don't want to do this i don't want to be here and i it sounds like such a bratty thing to do at this moment like like it's not I, I have a similar story like that and, it's and i not. and i i stood up um, and everyone kind of like some people kind of looked at me or whatever, and I just left. I just walked out of the room and just walked out of the college, and yeah. I was outside. And I just like called my mom. I was like, "Hey, I'm outside. I'm not doing this." And she was like, "You know, she loves me and she understood, but she was also really scared." She's like, you, "You know, this is a good opportunity, and we never know like if it's gonna work. You know, you haven't even yeah. gone out there." And I'm like, "I, I just, I just know that this is all I want to do. Is Gotta follow your dream." And uh, so I came <laughs> out. I came out for a week. And I got to skate with uh, DeVille and the Powell people. Um, and I did these tricks uh, with them. I only got to skate with them for two days because, you know, they skate Wednesdays and then the weekend of the time. And yeah. I was there until Sunday morning. So they were going to skate Saturday and Sunday. But I skated Wednesday. And then Saturday, I got these two tricks. And uh, literally, that was like, I was like, all right, that's it. You know, I, I did. I came out to California. Can't live out here. I don't have money. I don't have, you know. I'm not, this isn't going to happen, but this was a great, this was amazing. Okay. Like, yeah. I was like, this is beyond anything I could have ever imagined. It was a good experience. Yeah, it was like, I, it's, just, it's Surreal. like. Surreal. Yeah, and, and I got to skate with these amazing people. And then um, as, we're, as we're driving back uh, to, to, to my mother, because she had come out there with me, um, and I was going to fly home the next day, and that was it. Uh, DeVille, you know, I was sitting in the car with him, and he just looks at me. He's like, hey, do you want to come out here and stay with me for a while? And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, you want to, like, you know, stay with me and just see, like, just skate. Let's and, see where this goes. And see where this goes. And, you know, you just do, you know, a little housework here and there. And it's down. I'm down. I'm like, like, I'm freaking out. I'm like, yeah. yes. Like, I, I n beyond yes. Like, yeah. It's terrified. But yes. I'm ready. Give me the house key now. All yeah. Right. And, and, <laughs> and it was just, like, the crazy experience. And so I got back home and started packing my things and just flew out. Just started living in Deville's closet. <laughs> did you tell your mom right then when they dropped you off? Did I was, you say, I did, and I was mom, really, I'm coming back. I'm was, staying. Yeah, I was really nervous. You know, I was like, I, I'm gonna do this. And yeah, because like, I had never even been by myself at that point. And I was 18. And I'd yeah. always lived there in a small town, and just like, I'm gonna be on my own. For all those skateboarders that are listening to this, mm -hmm. what were the two tricks? Yeah, because yeah, no one else is gonna <laughs> know. No, to know. No one else is gonna know <laughs> shit. But skateboarders um, are gonna—they're so, they're like they yeah. want to know what so are the, these so tricks. The two tricks that I did uh, were—it was at the same exact school. It was up in Glendale, and I did kickflip back fifty-fifty on this roof to into a bank. I, I saw that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, the one like this, mm -hmm. and then you, yeah, that's good. I kickflip back fifty it, and then later we found out that someone had done that, but I didn't know. I was young, and so I went back and kickflip back five would it just because. Woo! Because yeah, I was like, well, someone go. did it, so I might as well go back and do that. That's um, what you yeah. do. And uh, so I and but the other trick was I did this backside 360 off of this roof into a bank that goes bank flat bank, and uh, it had only been kick flipped, and I so I back threed it, and that was a photo that ended up being my first ad in Thrasher. Oh right. But it was like, was two, it a Powell ad? Yeah. That. Yeah. And it was so it was two tricks uh, in one day that I got, and that was those were the two tricks. It was like crazy. <laughs> and one was an ad. It's crazy. Good. To me. I I know what tricks. It's not just your normal kickflip backside five zero on a ledge. It's yeah. fucking gnarly <laughs> on a roof. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 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 Ball crack your head yeah, done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there was some, there was some moments yeah. where it got it yeah. got sketchy. I, yeah. yeah, it got it got sketchy a couple of times. I bet. Wow, man. Yeah. What a story. That's pretty cool. Thank you. So you lived with Deville for a little while. Yeah. Obviously, 
You film a lot with DeVille, mm -hmm. probably a lot then, also with Nigel. Oh, yeah. And Dan. Oh, yeah, yeah. You film with Dan oh, yeah. a bunch, All the time. too. All yeah. the time. You know, we, we, uh, with Pal Peralta, we're, we're very, uh, we're a team that, you know, you want to be on Pal, you're going to come out with us. It's a very family dynamic. Yes. Um, so we, we're out at least twice every single week. You know, so if you, if you aren't coming out twice every week, it's like you're not really, you know, you want to be a do part you, of the family. Are you really wanting to be? Yeah, like, do you yeah. want to be with us? Like, we're, yeah. we're like a family here. And so yeah. it's like we skate twice a week. I see these people. I mean, I've seen them twice a week for the last almost, you know, four years. So yeah. it's like, you know, it's, you become. Do you, do you still live with DeVille? I do not anymore. Okay. Um, I lived in this like little tiny closet of his. Uh, and at the same time. In order to live there, obviously he was amazing letting me live there. Uh, so I would help him with things. And DeVille owns properties and stuff, and he owns this whole uh, apartment building that we're living in. And he's living in one, you know, yep. house up there. And this this house down here on the that's a part of his complex. Uh, these people had just moved out, and it was like super in disarray. These people had, you know, there were roach mice everywhere. Oh, it was Jesus. it was bad. And he yeah. obviously he couldn't get them out. They eventually had to get out. Um, and so for me living there you know i'd go there and i re we completely gutted and flipped that entire thing just me oh, and him. wow you know we, we went there we repainted every wall took out uh like a you know the oven and all that stuff put new ones in new fridge we we redid the the bathtub and we redid all the faucets the light switches so i learned yeah. all that stuff i learned so much from him doing that and we also dug out his backyard and like re-put a fake grass there but it took like it took probably like seven months to dig it all out like cause it was so much dirt and we had Dang. to slowly fill trash cans but you can only fill so much and it was just like it was a lot of work and i learned so many important uh life things by working with him and doing that and and being like this is what you have to do that's to do really things. cool and when that like, when things like that happen yeah and, and Deville's just of, he's just a great person things he that really like is. other people would like normally take for granted you kind yeah. of like yeah it embraced was, it it's it was really a rad. really really good experience all all through so that that was that was a good time so do you live in los angeles <laughs> i live in uh I'm, i live in orange county okay now. that's yeah. how you guys know each other i've seen him around at different spots from mm -hmm. la Long Beach, everywhere, just, you know, skating still. No, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Besides, like, <laughs> besides, <the little jab. laughs> besides the dudes on Powell that I know that are, are some of your heroes, is there other pro skateboarders that, like, when you were growing up skateboarding that you were, like, that inspired you that were just, like, yeah. God damn it. I, 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 if I want to skateboard like this guy. DeVille question. Okay. Favorite skater in Woods. Oh my gosh. He <laughs> asked everyone that. He asked everyone that. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's weird to, to, to say like you have one favorite skater. Yeah. You know, because there's different is. favorite skaters from different eras. Some people do though. You but know, yeah, but yeah. yeah, for sure. And, and, and I'd say like throughout the different times, my favorite skaters that have helped. Because I wouldn't say like I'm one person and that I just follow that person did. I try to take what all these other people that I've looked up to and kind of incorporate them. So, uh, obviously, you know, Matt Hensley. Mm. Tommy Guerrero, um, Tommy Steve Guerrero, Cab, that's so rad. And and oh, Lance, just how much fun he has skating down the street, yeah. like all that stuff was always so good. Great to me. style too. Just, oh, great style. Yeah. Great Bam. Style. Bam. Well, <laughs> he's I, a big Bam come on. Fan. You gotta yeah. I was he's a big I, yeah. Bam I was fan. I was with Bam not that long ago either. And oh, like, rad. Yeah, Bam, Bam's a big Bam fan. Um, obviously, I mean, you can see him the way I look. Yeah. You know? uh, and and then when it comes to like more. People that uh, were in like the 2000s stuff, it'd be like Ben Hatchell was a big one for me. Uh, that's Did where you I, ever like Corey Duffel? Corey Duffel was always so sick. Okay. Uh, I loved um, Jamie Thomas, killed it every yeah. time. Zero guy. Zero guy. Oh, I watched yeah. so much Zero. But my, I'd they say, have a good team. my all in all like favorite skateboarder, like throughout my whole life, that is like really like made me feel like I could. Be who I wanted was probably Chris Cole, and it was oh, like awesome. it was crazy. Because have you ever met him? I, I, you know, that's that's what's, I now he's Say like one of my man. he's one of my best friends now. Oh, I'd really? I really say he. Wow. I, mean, I hope he feels that way, but I mean, I feel that way about him. You know, he's like a father figure a lot of times, and I've been on so many trips with him, like you know, two weeks at a time. Is that for trips. Fallen? Does he skate yeah, for Fallen? Fallen. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, we've been to to weddings together and we're just sitting there talking the whole time and so like, you was he the dude that approached you from fallen and it's like hey you want to skate from no fallen? no it was uh it was it was willow uh he's the team manager for fallen um that approached me 
and then I met Chris later on. Okay. But it was just like seeing Chris Cole in person. It's like so sick. He's still so fucking good, dude. Dude, he's he's like a, a robot. He's still better than like everyone. It's insane. Uh, yeah. Like not. I mean, not everyone. You know what I mean, though. But like. <laughs> Dude is amazing. Everybody knows. We show they, up. They it's know. like watching Rodney Mullen scale. Yeah, yeah like you know, we like, show up the? to places, and and we had shown up to this one spot in Vegas. This was the first trip I went on with, and we we were just like, it was a four block in Vegas, and you know, you're Chris, you're Chris Cole. You can just kick flip it, and people would be stoked. And he just is like, oh, just warming up, and you just switch hard flips it. Wow. And it's like, bro, Dang. what? Like you're Warm still up. this good? Like, mm. like just he did it so fast, and it's like this guy is amazing. Yeah. He's like a freak of nature. Yeah. And also, he's like this super muscular giant guy. And you're like, that guy could beat my, you know, he'd beat yeah. my ass. <laughs> like, have you ever gone on a trip internationally and been in a country where you did your demos and stuff and everybody's like, all right, we're going home. And you're like, I'm staying. I like it here. I want to skate a little more. Or I like this culture. I like the food here. And I'm actually going to stay a little longer. I'd be like it, Spain, probably Madrid or something where you can skate Machba and, you know, places like that. That's yeah. definitely on the bucket list yeah. to go there. Oh, you but, where, there yeah. but where's one that you have? You know, the, the place recently um, that we went to that was, was Germany. Rad. And it was Hamburg and Berlin. Um, and yeah. that, that was like, it was amazing there. I mean, I'm sure you guys have probably been to I've been Germany. To, yeah. It is a beautiful city. Spots are awesome. Brick are awesome. quarter pipes everywhere. everywhere. It was it was a great really? time. Yeah, and like is it a skate park or something? No, it's no. the way they built the, it's the architecture. architecture. Yeah. yeah, wow, it's just beautiful naturally. city. Yeah. Beautiful cities. Um, and we didn't get to skate that much because we showed up and it's raining all okay. week. I mean, we had maybe out of the two weeks we were there, we had maybe four and a half days of actual skating because it rained so much so we were like skating indoor parks we were dodging rain and it was demos and stuff we did uh, a couple demos but they also had to be moved because of the rain so mm. we would like be mid demo and it would just start raining and it was like oh well that's about it for there and then we would have indoor we'd just move it to somewhere indoor try to find some place and um and so we didn't get a lot of skating there so we're going back this year Oh, again, right. Same month uh, for Valken Festival again. Yeah. And so now I'm like, yes, we're going back to Germany. Like, I'm so excited to, like, finally be able to. So I'd say that one is, like, I'm, I was super bummed to leave Germany because okay. I was just like, I want to stay here. I want to keep skating. Yeah. We, like, it felt like we had been robbed because of the rain. And it's like, I want it. It's amazing here. Yeah. I want to just keep skating here. So I'm super excited to head back there. So shout out to all the people in Germany. Hope to see you guys soon. <laughs> nice. Absolutely. What kind of music do you listen to? Honestly, like, I have been nonstop Depeche Mode the last, like, month. Just so much Depeche Mode. Uh, I love, Are you into Morrissey? I love Morrissey. Uh, did you ever, did you ever like, uh, uh, Tilt Mode? Did you ever watch the Tilt Mode videos back in the I day? I don't think I did, actually. A bunch of dudes <laughs> from San Jose that I kind of, like, yeah. they're, 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 I mean, you would love them. Do you know Jerry Osu? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, oh, he's Jerry's all into amazing. that. Like, and, or he was and what's at his one name? point. Louis Barletta, Louis Barletta oh, all those. Awesome. Yeah, Jerry like, Sue, like, like legend. Yeah, they know? used to come out with these videos and they were like funny, but they, they, and all of them would have a part. It was usually dudes from San Jose. Mm -hmm. We skated but, San like, Jose. Very into Morrissey sick. and like, uh, I don't know if it was Depeche Mode. Smith, the Cure. Smith, oh, yeah. The Cure all is that. A but huge. like their videos oh, yeah. were fucking bad and they were great, very entertaining, yeah. like next level skateboarding. Yeah. I mean, Robert Smith is amazing to me. Yeah. I've always loved The Cure. Um, a lot of uh, Billy Idol actually lately. I was gonna oh, say nice. the Cure too. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. Cure is. Huge but, and to I me. thought of the Cure because when I seen your picture and you had that the, the mm -hmm. cover. I don't know if it was a cover, but it was a picture of the mag, and you had the pink hair. Oh yeah. I was like, this guy listens to the Cure. I love the Cure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there we go. I was right. <laughs> love the Cure. I mean, I'm such a big the Cure fan. Uh, I like. I love. I like the Cure too. Love the Cure. Um, I've actually been listening to a lot of uh, uh, at Abba lately. I love Abba. Abba. Yeah, What's it's Abba? Like, like Abba, I guess. Okay, but okay, I guess Abba. that's how you actually pronounce yeah. it. I don't really know. How is to that your it. music or is that older music? I don't know what it is. It's neither. Okay. <laughs> it's Abba, dude. It's okay. Abba, A B B A. Okay. You never it. heard of Abba? No, because I, I, I see. It, it seems <laughs> like you're like more of an old soul. Yeah. Like in yeah. this like newer generation body, but like old soul meaning you you like the the older the, the 80s kind mm -hmm. of nostalgic 80s. kind of yeah. like vibe. 
you listen to that music? Do you listen to any new music that co that's come out nowadays? Yeah, yeah. I definitely, okay. you know, I definitely can still appreciate new music. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, new music is bad. Yeah. You know, yeah, I still, yeah. like, I love old music. And yeah. I love new music. You yeah. know, I'll, I'll go from, you know, my playlist will go from Fleetwood Mac yep. to... You know, some Post Malone. Why not? You know, yeah. it's, like, it's like why not? Rock star. You know, you got, you got, you know, yeah. you got. I appreciate. You got to adapt a little you gotta, bit. You yeah, have a little bit of. Yeah, yeah, I have a little bit of area. You know, and it's like it's sick to to do that and and uh, not be like feel like you're in this bubble where you only have to listen to one thing. Yeah. And it's like, do you I, do you, like I like with your skateboarding? It's it's fucking very consistent. Like you're, oh, you're very you. consistent. At least the stuff you post up. Um, and you can skate everything. Do you ever want to compete, like be an SLS or any of that? Do you ever see yourself doing that or wanting that? Um, I, I would. I mean, I would love to Make eventually some someday bow, you know, like, be in. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I would love to someday be in uh, some kind of uh, SLS or anything like that. But I would. I would really want to do it my way. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't, because I'm not going to win SLS. I'm not going to win X Games. I'm not. You know, I'm not doing the stuff that those other amazing people are doing, like Uto or anything. I, I'm going to do my own thing. Um, I think for me, one of the, one of the, the most inspiring contest runs I've ever seen, uh, which you guys probably know about is, uh, Neil Blinder's run on the street course when he's kind of messing Slammer? around. It's, it's the one oh, where he, he's messing around. In Santa Monica. Yeah. He's yeah. messing around and he just, in the middle of the run, just takes out, just starts painting on the wall. And oh, okay. Like, that kind of stuff to me is like, that's more important. You know, it's like, if I were to do that's stuff so like corporate, that, but just, just like, just like this is skateboarding to me you know and, and everyone has perceived skateboarding in different ways and that's amazing it's always going to be Absolutely. a different way it's yeah. art that's how it is and but it if changes it changes all the time. constantly changes and if i go into one of those contests which i would love to do uh i want to do it my way i want to yeah. do my own thing i want to have fun i'm going to do foot plants i'm going to do fun stuff like that and hope that people enjoy it you know <laughs> it's like, i feel no. like the dude uh evan evan smith Evan Smith, yeah, he he's one that. of my favorites, like watching him skate, at least the way he skates. Mm -hmm. And it seems like he does it his own way, but also kind of does newer stuff like all the time. Like his yep. video parts, but his contest stuff is usually very what he wants to exactly. do. Exactly. He's one of the, the, he's very inspiring to me, especially when it comes to contest skating. He's fucking badass. He'll dude. do, you know, kick flip front lip down a down the big section but then 540 on the ramp it's like yeah and then he'll yeah. do like a kick flip like on the transition ramp like he'll do a kick flip front side five oh, or yeah. front side nose grind across the whole top yeah and then get to the bank and do a backside it's amazing you know, backside in it's, it's the coolest like, thing ever no like, one else is doing that also it's like this is he's having fun like this yep. is skateboarding to me like that's that's what it, it, you know it's like everyone sees skateboarding and gets excited and, with different video parts and different feels and stuff like that and some people get excited to watch someone skate down like a big set and they're like like I want to go skateboard now, you know. I want. I like yeah. watching. Whenever I, the what gets me excited to skate is watching someone be having the most fun they could have. If I yeah. see someone like skating and you're just like that person is having the best time. They're smiling. They're laughing. They're with their friends, or or you know, even if they're not with their friends, just like you can tell that every moment they're on their board, this is like their paradise. Yeah. That gets me. I'm you like, know what? Uh, who? Uh, what skater that I grew up with skateboarding with? Um, that that I saw that in and it was inspiring to me was uh, Kim Cardona. Okay. Back in the day, um, skating with him, he was just so much on another level, mm -hmm. but could skate at anything, and did the hardest tricks, did the easiest tricks, but just had fun with everything. Yeah. Whatever he wanted to do, wall ride, kick, about whatever. He and but watching him skate was just like you're watching just a natural skateboarder, someone that does it need to skate every day but someone that could jump on a board and just do whatever he wants yeah yeah that was it's awesome it's a beautiful shout out kim cardona <laughs> beautiful thing to watch it yeah. really is yeah like who were you guys inspired by i'd, I'd i want to ask like i was up. inspired by Nottis, oh, eric yeah. dressin mm -hmm. and mark gonzalez oh mark yes. those those are because i was when i started skating no like concrete parks were around mm -hmm. anymore or anything and it was all street so all the videos that came out, like Streets of Fire, uh, Ban This, yep. and Public Domain, all those videos were the ones I was like, oh, you just go in the streets and you skate everything. Everything. Yeah, so. Hit a those, little bench, ollie onto a bench, ollie yep, off. Yeah, ollie yeah. off, do, it, do this, do a nose stall, 180 back out. Yep. Put benches on top of banks, do tricks oh, on so there. Sick. 
So cardio. Yeah. 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 Very cardio. How about you? What were uh, your... Mine were probably uh, well, my, one of my best buddies was Tim O'Connor, and I grew up with oh, watching yeah. him skate, just watching. It was very, very inspiring, mm -hmm. and, and he pushed me a lot to like always like just be about progression and get better. Yeah. And then uh, dudes that I really didn't know were like Mark Gonzalez was a huge inspiration. Like just that style that he brought to skateboarding, just it yeah. was just amazing to watch. And then blind uh, video days, yeah, blind oh, video days. Yes. When I, and yes. uh, my all-time oh, yeah. favorite skateboarder that I've been trying to get on the show, <laughs> but he's seriously my all-time favorite skateboarder is Guy Mariano. Guy. Guy Mariano. Yeah. Just every video party ever had back when you would look forward to people oh, yeah. having video parts were just on another level. Like, and he always did something that no one's ever done before. Still is. And yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Still is. Like, it's insane. So like, that, he, he was, he's definitely my all time favorite. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah, Guy is amazing. Still, I mean, I would love to meet Guy. Yeah. And like, and because <laughs> we didn't, rad. like, my Carol was also good because he could skate everything, like transition. Yep. But uh, Rails, since me too, uh, like it wasn't vert skateboarding or pool. Yeah. Like when we kind of came up, it was just street skating. It was it was something that was feasible. Yeah. yeah, it's right there. You're like, oh, I have this in my town. You know, not everyone had a big vert ramp. Not everyone had. It's like that's I have this. I can go do this. In my town, I grew up in Torrance, Redondo, and all that. Mm. And a lot of the stuff that was in videos was in our area. So we'd go skate it, and then we'd have friends come out from the East Coast. And they would think every spot was like far away from each other. And we'd be like, no, there's the double set over there. There's the ledge over there. And we yep. would like skate to spots. That's so And cool. they were like, this is all near you. Right? Yeah, all that's there. how everybody skated. All there. Everybody yeah. skated to skate spots. No, that's what's cool. Like with, with California and like spots like that. Because I, I, I went to high school in New Jersey and like we had my basement, but like we, my mom would drop us off at like the Marshall's curb all day, you know, and we'd be there from like 10 in the morning till like nine at night, skating a curb, getting kicked out, coming back, skating, you know, and that's what we had. So like to have spots like that, like it's just amazing to be able to skate yeah. to everything. Yeah. Yeah. No, even it goes back to the LAX bank uh, that cab like all your fronts had grabbed over was down the street from the three gap three that all the world dudes mm. like skated. Yeah. They was down the street from the little hubba ledges down the two stair. Like you could skate down the street and skate three different era, three different spots. It's so sick. Yeah. That's one of the, my favorite things about being in California. Yeah. Did you, so, did you bug out when you moved out here and like, there's literally like a cement skate park in every fucking town. <laughs> Did like, I? I you, still do. Yeah, you're just I like, what? Do. Dude, I Like, we didn't do. have that, you know? So the, 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 we, yeah. every kid has that now, and it seems like they get so good so oh, quick. Yeah. Like, even, like, even girls, you know? Like, yeah. they're, uh, do you skate with girls that are just amazing? Yeah, or, like, I mean, do you see growing up and, like, it's, just getting better and better? It's so sick to, to see it, especially here, like you were saying, in California, because in, in smaller towns like Indiana, it's not as accepted, you know? Mm. Especially there, because... Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's completely like it's not a backwards town, but it's it is because it's not here views slowly. It's like, you know, it's getting there, but yeah. the views are still like a girl skateboarding. Like, that, know, well, that's know. how it was with me, you know, yeah, growing up too. Just, like, so just, when I see the, the progression, like, do you think the gap will ever close between a man and a female skateboarder where they're on the same level skateboarding? I think it already is. Really? I mean, okay. I think I think it's gotten to that point. I mean. I, I forget her name. She, front crooked Hollywood sixteen. That's insane. It's like, like what? Front crooked. Yeah, front this, crooked this uh, uh, Asian girl from yes. like Japan. Yeah. Or Is that the one that like just won uh, SLS or whatever? Or maybe. maybe I know that that girl. She usually yeah. skates with a helmet, like I, street skates. Oh, okay. And she fronts like mm -hmm. K grinds everything. Yeah, like, and, it's I know, and I know that the 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 girl who, on April who yeah. wins all the SLS. She just backsmith Hollywood sixteen. Yeah. It's like, dude, I can't do that. <laughs> like, the, like, like they're better than I am, you know. And I'm not saying I'm those good, are like the like, elites, like, though. That th those those girls are like next level. You're yeah. like, what the hell? Yeah, I mean, but but you go you go to a skate park nowadays, and and you see uh, a girl skating or or um, any any uh, whatever they identify skating, and people are just progressing. It doesn't really. I feel like, I feel like skateboarding doesn't have a a gender or or anything you know, like that. You know what's funny is all. I feel the same way. Like as far as like skateboarding is a sport where it's like it's not how tough you are it's not mm -hmm. how big you are it's just 
how much skills you have. Yeah. Like, and I think a woman ha could have just as much skills as a dude, especially when you're growing up at a skate park and skating every day from a little kid to nowadays. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. I just never saw skateboarding as like, you got to be tough to be good. Yeah, you no, know, no. you just got to keep trying. Yeah, you just got <laughs> you gotta yeah, keep seriously. going. I don't think skateboarding ever was. You got to be tough to. No, be I know good. that, but you know, like with like <laughs> like with football or with other other sports, it's like when, you, when the we, bigger the better. When we got into it, it was because we didn't want to play the other sports. Absolutely, That's exactly right. yeah. I'm like, what yep. do you like? You can't even like judge them. Uh, no, absolutely. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm trying to say is like, with, like as far as the gap between a man and a woman in skateboarding, yeah. it, I, I think it's closing because of like all the facilities they have nowadays, and they're yeah. growing up like training in a, at a skate park, yeah. just like everybody else. Yeah. If you have those same opportunities, you're and you love it, you're gonna get good as yeah. well. Yeah. I, I think that I think that that's what's so beautiful about skateboarding is because it doesn't matter what you identify as or, or feel or anything. It's you aren't secluded. I think that everyone's on the same level no matter what. That's how it should be with all of life. And uh, I think that it's become really cool that skateboarding gotten to a point where I really don't think that it matters what you what you're born as, what you identify as, or anything. I think that you can be on whatever level you want. Pick and, up a board and, and go. Yeah, you just pick up a board and go. And even if you're not even if you're not like a professional skateboarder, if you are out there having fun on your board, I automatically think like you're a great skateboarder. You already made it. You're amazing. You, you made, made it. it. You're having so much fun. Like even people, you know, they clown on, on certain people for, you know, skating down the street on long boards or anything like that. I'm like, they're it's having still so skating. much fun. It's they're skating, still skating. You know, they're having fun. It's like, why, why get, why mock anyone for having fun? I don't, you know? I don't necessarily mock it, but like college dudes that are going from class to class. To <laughs> board, I feel like that's just a transportation thing. It, it, right. It, for I mean, the moment, I, I know that they're having fun for the moment, but you don't know what that dude does on the weekend. Well, also, yeah, he gets and drunk and fucking <laughs> parties. You are, you're now, you're segregating him into that. Thing. You don't know. No, I'm not. Well, he could I mean, be down. I'm not. He could be doing that now. Anybody, he could right? be doing that now. I know. <laughs> but like you know, he could be doing that now. But you know, maybe maybe skating class to class, he starts having so much fun, getting comfortable. He's like, I'm gonna go to the skate park, and yeah. then people are like, Hey, you want this board? And he's like, Yeah. I'm, and then there he's a skateboarder. You know, well, you never really yeah. know what someone is feeling. It's and really what they're cool to become. see, like you say that. You know, especially you saying that you come from a town where it's 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 not necessarily backwards, but they wouldn't agree with that mm. or, you know, and then you see it out here and it's everyone's skateboarding. Everyone skateboards here. Everyone. I mean, even, even if they don't skateboard anymore, you, you know, you meet someone like, I used to skateboard. Yeah. Everyone. Yep. It's so cool. <laughs> it's such yeah. a cool thing. Punch used to skate. Yeah, I, used to <laughs> yeah, I did. I know. <laughs> oh, you do? Is that how we met? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was skateboarding. You know, what's funny is there was a, a moment where it was just me and him, like, professional little skateboarder dudes. little people and then now there's other little people but um i don't know if like They're there's ever going to be other the little level. people professional skateboarders yeah i mean there okay. might be there, there's there's some that are really good yeah time will tell yeah. time you will know, tell it's really you know you never know right around the bin there could be someone there could so, be someone watching this did right say now five? yeah he okay, said cool. five he cool. said, "You get a high five on that high five, high five." <laughs> you know, like like there could be someone watching this right now, being like, "Do you, you know do you change skate with world. Other, yeah. Have you met another little person like besides us that skateboards um, that you skate with? I've seen them okay. uh, skating, and and uh, I, I love watching them on Instagram and stuff. Oh, okay. like, but I don't want it to feel like I'm watching them on Instagram. You know, what I, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like I've seen them, and, and you can I, say anything you want. I actually this is enjoy, an open platform. I actually enjoy. Uh, the, I think it looks really cool. I think the style is awesome. I, I, I think it looks awesome. And, and you probably follow some on Instagram that are just like, I follow this is a guy so named Patar. He's like mm -hmm. from Spain. Yeah. Yeah. He's that, like really, I think he his, probably has the same dwarfism as, uh, as Elmer. That I was think just he, on. it's a little more extreme. I think he's a little smaller and he has boards that are smaller. Yeah, but he's fucking. He can, fuck it. He can like river. tray flip and stuff, right? That's yeah. that guy. Yeah, he kick flips, yeah he I like love watching stuff. Not like tray flips. He looks yeah. so cool. 
like I mean, when he skates, it's like that guy looks awesome. Yeah, like he skates. It's so cool, cool to see like when dudes like just look badass on a skateboard. Yeah, even seriously. girls, you're just like Jesus. Yeah, and it, it and it blurs the lines of like what other people would think. Like that looks you know different or anything. It's like that just looks sick. Like it doesn't. Yeah. You don't even think about like that person's a, a little person. It's like that person. Do just you looks think cool. that guy like having spots like Makba and all those places that are just almost built for skateboarding? Yeah. You think he has? The same dream you have of like, I want to go to California and fucking be there and rip. I mean, you know, if he does, I'm good for him, and I yeah. hope he. he I, should no, come I'm out sure. Here. I think he does. I think I, everybody. I mean, has, everyone wants to come to California. But I think <laughs> everybody has Probably. a dream outside of their world that they're in that they see other people in that want to go there and ride that. Yeah. Like all the LA kids always were like. I want to go to EMB and Hubba. Yeah. So we wanted to go there. I want to go skate the it, East Coast. I want yeah, to go skate I New York. Go, yeah, yeah, everything. You always want to go skate somewhere else that you see other people mm -hmm. skating. So yeah. I think even for those guys in Spain, they're like, oh, I want to come to LA. I want to rip yeah. those spots. For sure. So. And I'm over here like, I want to go to MacBook. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. There you go. It looks so fun. Like, I'd love to. Like, oh, man. <laughs> um, what's in the future for you, Chris? Like, what's, what's your pl next plan? You know, honestly, my, my next plan is, is just, first of all, enjoying this moment. This okay. is amazing. Awesome. Like, seriously. Uh, and then I, I just want to continue to have fun and meet people through skateboarding. Yeah. You know, whether, whether this goes anywhere further or not, I feel happy with what I've done and, and feel accomplished. Yeah. Um, I hope someday uh, to, to possibly, um, you know, inspire more kids I think you will do. I yeah, I think you, you have a are. good vision and oh, like you. with what you're doing with the skateboard and everything. When you go pro, yeah, dude, there's gonna, you. George is not gonna no you go stopping pro. you, man. I, I mean, it would be an honor. No, you, pro. It would yeah, really be an is honor. Stacey Peralta still a part of? Yeah, he's still a part of okay. it. Okay, but George is like the main guy. Like you go to him, you make your boards, you continue. Stacey's still like. For a while there, it was Powell Peralta, then it was just Powell. Yes. Then it went back to Powell Peralta. Mm. So it's Powell Peralta. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I, I just want to continue to have fun and just, I, I really in the future want to, to do things with um, mental health awareness. I really want to do more with that. That's uh, a good when one. When I have the funding and the influence more to do it. I'm, I'm doing it small steps at the, at the moment because... It's all for, you can really do like, at the for, moment, but. For, okay, so for mental health awareness, mm -hmm. like invisible disabilities kind of thing. You know, you never, you never actually know what someone is fully going through. You yeah, could absolutely. see someone and they could be the happiest person or the, you know, the funniest person in the room, but they could be feeling, you know, like the worst it's person. the sad clown thing. You know, it really yeah, is. It's and sad it's, clown. And I, I think that, you know, like, and people always make fun of the word like awareness because it's like everyone knows it. It's like, but that's not the point of it. The point is being like, you don't actually know, even if you, you're best friends with someone, you might not know what they're really going through or that person might not feel like they have anyone to talk to. And I think that it would be a really important thing for me to, to be able to help even one person with feeling like they have someone to talk to or feeling like they're not completely alone. Um, and so that would be, that would be bigger, a bigger goal to me than even myself that's special, dude. becoming successful that's in any way. That's so, super rad. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's definitely my main goal. Rad. I think on that positive note, everybody look out for Chris Height. Yeah. He's coming up. He's a skateboarder. I think skateboarding is really good for mental health mm -hmm. because it doesn't matter where you are in the world or mm -hmm. in your mind. You can walk outside of your house and stop thinking about anything else that's going on and put your feet on a skateboard and just go and be free. Yeah. And that's one of the best things. Yeah. So... Uh, Thanks for coming by, yeah. Chris. No, any, 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 uh, how do people get a hold of you? How do, yeah. how, how, oh, um, if people want to contact, uh, what yeah. platforms are you yeah. on? You know? Yeah, I'm on. Uh, I'm, I'm my main, my main two are uh, Instagram and YouTube. Okay. And what, Chris Height? Just, just Christopher Height. Yeah. Christopher Height. And how do you spell yeah. the last name? Uh, H I E T T. Good. Yeah. Height. 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 Yeah. Not heat or anything yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. Height. Yeah. yeah. Definitely yeah. what we lack. Height. Well, you lack. I'm taller. I'm taller than you. Barely by a beanie. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> by a beanie height. <laughs> by your beanie. But you lack, not me. Speak yeah, for you yourself. Stand on, stand on the board. And yeah. There you go. I'm gonna stand on a skateboard and have more height <laughs> than you, bub. <laughs> anyway, thanks everybody. For yeah. Watching Little revolution. Little revolution. And don't forget, if you want some good supplements, go to Nima. N I I M A. 
Tag uh, L-I-L-R-E-V in the coupon and get 15% off. Oh, Poncho's yeah. going to start using them. Maybe he'll grow even a little taller. <laughs> <laughs> Two beanies. <laughs>